I know that a lot of people are not as fortunate to be able to, you know, travel around the state and especially because of obviously COVID travel is not really happening at all right now. So, you know, how can, you know, everyday people who can't really, you know, travel to all of these, you know, places that are, would be classified as more scenic kind of enjoy the scenic areas of Ohio kind of in their backyard. Well, that would be a good thing to go in their backyard yeah. <laughs> and uh, look at it carefully and um, slowly. And I suspect they'll find a lot of scenic, interesting things right there. I know the parks and the trails and the rivers uh, and streams have gotten a lot more use uh, since COVID than ever before uh, because people want to get outside and want to explore and have a little relief from being cooped up in their homes. Um, so if there's any possibility for them to visit a, a, a state park or a city park or a county park, I would encourage them to do it because they'll find beauty there. And a, a restoring ability of nature is great and it would uh, help to um, heal their angst that they're feeling because of the COVID. Um, and so, um, look carefully at the little insects that are around and, and um, you know, make sure that you, um, if you have a little property that you don't spray it with insecticide or other things to kill those insects because the birds need those to feed their babies. And um, we need the birds to start in the caterpillars and the insects to start the food chain that we benefit from as people. Um, I like to say now that if we don't take care of nature, it's not going to take care of us. And um, we really need to all uh, put on our conservation hats and do the best we can to um, preserve the trees, preserve the open lands, uh, preserve our natural heritage um, and our, nat our native plants any way we can.